Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Parag Jabulkar. In this video, we will see conditional rendering in HTML in Lightning Web Components. In simple language, how to implement if else in LWCR Lightning Web Component. So see, almost in every programming language, we implement if else, right? We have to implement conditional. We have to implement selection structure, right? So in every programming language, we implement selection structure, right? So how to implement selection structure, how to implement if else in Lightning Web Components that we will see. And where we will use, we will use it in HTML file. Okay. Now see, to implement if else in Lightning Web Components, we have to use two template directives. So see, we have two template directives. If colon true, if colon false. So these are the two template directives that we have to use. Now see, we will have one example and from that example, it will be very clear. So I have opened Visual Studio Code. How to set up Visual Studio Code for Lightning Web Components that already we have seen in previous video. Okay, now see. So we have this LWC. We'll right click on this and we will create one Lightning Web Component. I am clicking on Create Lightning Web Component. We will give some name. So see, suppose I am giving conditional rendering, something like this. We will give default directory. So I am choosing this. Okay. So by this, our LWC component folder is created. And in this LWC component, we have three files. See, we have HTML file, we have JavaScript file, we have js-meta.xml file. So see, we have these three files, right? Now see, in HTML file, we will write some code and in that code, we will use these two directives. We will use these two directives, if true and if else. And by this, we will implement if else in LWC. So for that, we will see one example. So what we will do, we will have one checkbox. If we select that checkbox, then we should get message that we are in true block. And if that checkbox is not selected, then we should get message that we are in false block. So see, what we will do in this template tag, we will add one card. So see, by this tag, we will add lightning card. Now see, on this lightning card, we want to add one checkbox, right? So how we can add it? So see, for that, we have to use lightning input tag like this. Now see, here within this tag, type is equal to checkbox. So by this, checkbox will be created. Now see, we have to give one label. So we will add one label. For example, show details, something like this. So any label you can give. Now see, what we want, if we select this checkbox or if we unselect this checkbox, some event should be generated. See what I am telling. If we select this checkbox or if we unselect this checkbox, some event should be generated, right? So to handle such event, here we'll add one attribute. So see, on change. That means if status is changed, then we will call one JavaScript function. So see, here we will mention JavaScript function name. So see, suppose status change, something like this. So this function we have to define in this JavaScript file. Okay, so that name I have mentioned here. Now see, this function should be enclosed in curly bracket. Like this. Okay, so by this statement, we have added one checkbox, right? Now, we will check some condition. So see, for that, again, we have to use template tag. So see, already I have told, we have to use template directives, right? We have to use template directives. So see. For that, we'll use this template tag. Now see, within this, we'll check condition. So see, how I'm checking condition, how I'm using this template directive. So see, if colon true is equal to, now see, double quote I'm removing. In curly bracket, suppose I'm mentioning flag. So what is flag? Flag is one variable, okay, one property. This property I will use in JavaScript file. I have given this name, okay? We can give any name. This is variable name, right? This is property name. So this property I will add in JavaScript file. So 
if this property value is true then this part will get executed whatever the part that we will mention here so that part will get executed if this flag value is true so see what is the meaning of this see if this flag value is true then this part will be executed here it is true and here it is false in that case it will not match right so in that case this part will not get executed right now see here i am putting one message something like this we are in true block something like this right so if flag value is true and here is also true 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 that is matching right that's why this message will be printed so see this extra space i am removing okay now see one more condition i will add template right now see here i will use directive if colon false is equal to in curly bracket i am mentioning flag right again same thing see flag is one variable flag is a property and if flag value is false then this part will be executed so see suppose here i am writing we are in false block so see if this flag value is false so see this is also false and suppose if flag value is also false so both are matching right so in that case this part will get run and suppose flag value is true so this is false and this is true it is not matching right so this part will not get executed right very simple if both are matching this part will get executed if these are not matching so this part will not get executed right? very simple right so see we have written if else we have written these directives we have written this conditional in our html file right now see one thing is remaining so see here we are calling one function right status change right this function we have to write in javascript file right okay now see we will write some code in javascript file so already in previous video we have seen what is the meaning of all those things right now see we have to write javascript code in this part right now see in html file we are using one flag right we are using one variable we are using one property flag right so that here we have to define so see suppose i am using this flag variable or flag property and by default we will give some value suppose false right now see we have to define this function status change right so this function here we will define now see as it is function so we have to mention round brackets and here we will write body for the function right now see when this checkbox is selected event will be generated right event will be generated and this function will be called right so that information we have to take in one parameter so that parameter here i am mentioning right whatever the information once event is generated so that information okay this function will be called and this information will be collected in this parameter event parameter okay now see what we want if checkbox is selected then flag value should be true if checkbox is unselected then flag value should be false right so see what we are doing this dot flag why i am writing this because this is a reference to the current object right now see is equal to now see from this we will take information so see event dot target dot checked like this so see if target is checked that means it is selected then flag will be true if target is not checked right then this flag value will be false right very simple now see it is showing dot right that means it is not saved okay so we have to press control yes to save this file okay so by this i have saved this file right okay now see we will deploy this so we have to right click on this then here we have option deploy source to org okay but before that one change we have to do that change we have not done okay because see uh, after deploying this our component will not be visible in our org reason i will take see here we have one more file see this js dash meta.xml this file also we have to change or we have to update this so here we have one tag is exposed 
when it is false so we cannot use this component as a standalone component we can use this component as a child component to other component but we cannot use this component as a standalone component right so what we have to do we have to make it true when we are making true that means we can use this component as a standalone component in any app page or home page okay after that we have to mention where we have to use this component so we have to mention targets so see here i am mentioning tag targets and here we have to mention what are the targets so see target lightning app page okay so we can use it on lightning app page and suppose uh, we want to use it on home page also so, so see target lightning underscore home page right that means we can use this component on any lightning app page or home page right so we will save this so see everything is done we have written code for html file we have written code in javascript file and we have also changed code in meta.xml file right okay so now we will deploy it okay so we will right click on this component name we have this option deploy source to org okay now see i have logged in in salesforce developer org so we will select one app so for example we are selecting service app so any app we can use right so we can deploy our component in any app we can use our component in any app okay now see here we will click on gear icon here we have option edit page so see lightning app builder page is open scroll down so see here we have two custom components and these are the standard components right and here are two custom lightning components right now see already here we have used this hello world this is a hello world component right and this second component conditional rendering so anywhere we can use so just we have to do drag and drop so see so here we have put our component so anywhere we can put it's our choice suppose uh, what we'll do uh, this is a hello world component so below this we'll put so see we'll keep here this is hello world component and below this we have put our conditional rendering component right okay now we will click on save okay now we'll go to back page okay so see here you can see now see we have used tag lightning card right here we have used this tag lightning card lightning card right and because of that we got this white this lightning card we got right this is called as a lightning card okay now see we got this checkbox why we got this checkbox because of this so see because of this statement we got the checkbox here we have label show details right that's why here we have show details text right now see if we select this here we got message see we are in true block right and if we unselect this we are in false black okay so we have to make it block okay so see what we will do we will make change okay again we will deploy it okay so see so by default we got this message right we are in false block because see a uh, flag we have set false value right and when we select this so we got this message we are in a true block when we unselect this so we got this message we are in false block right so in this way we can implement condition in lwc or in html file so in this video we have seen conditional rendering in html in lighting web components so in simple word how to implement if else if else conditional in lighting web component that we have seen and for this we have to use these two template directives so friends i hope you like this video if is then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you